next we have Janessa Sandoval, escorted by Alexander Benavides. <laughs> This is supported by Alfred Arnold Flores. <laughs> Rosalinda Menavides is supported by Philip Hernandez. <laughs> Casey Chavez is escorted by Ryan Hernandez Rudder. Adelina Camacho is escorted by Jorge Andres Conte. Ladies and gentlemen, our honored escort here tonight, Mr. Alex Rene Martinez. <laughs> and at this time, if I can have everyone please rise, todos de pie, por favor, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to introduce to you tonight. The reason we're all gathered here tonight, escorted by her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ezequiel Benavides. El aplauso bien fuerte, make some noise for Michelle Celine Benavides. Now I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Brother Manuel Magana. Thank you very much. Can we have a warm hand clap for Michelle, please? This is her day. Can we say a quick prayer, please? All her standing. Father, we thank you for today, Lord. Father, we recognize you during this great celebration. Thank you for the life of Michelle. Thank you for the beautiful 15 years she you have blessed her with. We thank you for many more to come. We thank you, Father, that tonight we gather together in celebration. And Lord, we will put you in place of honor tonight. And we thank you for this time. And once again, bless the Benavides family from generation to generation. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Steve. We're here today once again to celebrate the life of Michelle. I've gotten, to, I've had the privilege of getting to know her, and she is quite the lovely young lady. Today, Michelle, we recognize you and your declaration of becoming a young woman, understanding your role as a young woman and your place as a young woman as well. We are here as you make your public declaration of faith and your commitment to the Lord. And also we're here as you make it known to everyone that you are ready for the responsibilities of life. You will be mature, respecting yourself and others, and honoring those in authority, like your parents. Yes, you can still honor your parents. Being responsible, making wise decisions, completing tasks that are ahead of you, showing yourself trustworthy, because you will be accountable and accepting any consequences that will come. But we encourage you tonight to know that God is with you, God is love you, God loves you, and not only does God love you, I think by seeing everyone here tonight, I think it's safe to say you're loved by many as well, and we support you, and you are in our prayers. If you agree with me, give one big hand clap for Michelle, and let us know that, please. 
Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4, that the Lord knew you before you were born. He said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before you came out of your mother's womb, I sanctified you and ordained you a prophet unto the nations. Jeremiah said, O oh Lord, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For you will go to everywhere I send you. And whatever I command you to say, you shall speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Today you say, I'm no longer just a little girl. Now I'm sure in your daddy's eyes and your mommy's eyes, you'll always be their princess. But in the eyes of God and the world, you are a responsible young lady. And know that wherever you're at, God is with you for the rest of your days. In celebrating tonight with you, we have gifts for you that we would like to present to you. So the first of that is the Bible, and the Bible is going to be presented by Sergio Rosas. Can we give Sergio a hand? Thank you. Come on, boy. Sergio. Come on, give it to you. Come on, Here you go. Photographer and gifter. <laughs> Michelle, what's the significance of the Bible? The Bible is your roadmap. It'll be what you turn to in times of trouble and even in good times. Study it. Learn it, know it, stand upon it, and know that that's God's spoken word to you. God inspired it, God wrote it, and whatever it says about you, that is what you are. Believe it, do it, and experience the blessings of it. And we know you will have an extraordinary, blessed life because you obey what God says. Next we have the crown, and the crown, or tiara, and that will be presented by Laura Vanda. Can we please thank the Lord and give her a hand clap? I think we got it. There we go. That looks beautiful. <laughs> Michelle, as you make your public declaration today of faith and commitment to God, in doing so, you make it known to everyone you are the daughter of a king. And being the daughter of a king, that makes you part of a royal family. You are a princess in the eyes of God. You belong to him and you will always be his. As the daughter of a king, you are entitled to everything your father has. And the king of kings and the lord of lords has everything you will ever need. Your life is provided for in him. In him you have all the love you'll ever seek. And always know that a king is never in lack. And we claim tonight you will never be in lack. And your life will be forever blessed. Because you are truly a princess to the king of kings and the lord of lords. Next we have a necklace that is being presented by Alfred and Rachel Flores. Can we please welcome them and give them a hand clap for them. Yeah. tonight, you're making a statement of faith, and we expect you to continue this statement of faith and commitment. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, wherever you go. Do not be afraid to let others know what it is you believe and what it is you stand for. Allow other people to know about the God that you serve. Don't shy away. Don't be intimidated. Because as we read earlier in Jeremiah, the Lord is always with you. His word has made it clear. If you are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you when you stand in front of my Father in heaven. So in him there is no shame. In him there is courage and boldness. So be bold, be courageous, and know that your God is with you. 
And if you stand for him, he will definitely stand and perform for you as well. Be bold, be righteous, and carry your cross proudly with a smile on your face because the Lord is smiling upon you every day. We have earrings tonight. Those earrings are being presented by <coughs> Louis and Mary Rico. If we could please give them a big hand. Uh, negativity is spoken to you, you can reject it. Be attentive to what is right. Turn away from what is wrong. Know that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. There is a power in what you hear. Know that the Holy Spirit speaks to you, will tell you where to go, what to do, what to say, what not to say. Be attentive to that voice and trust us. Trust me. Look at me. Trust me. You'll never regret listening to what God has to say. Know the difference between right and wrong. Run from what's wrong and walk to what's right. We know that as you grow up, you'll hear many things and be presented with many things. But we believe tonight, as you're maturing, becoming accountable and responsible, you will truly, truly take the path God has for you because you'll be listening to his voice. We have a last doll tonight, and that last doll is being presented by Ruby and Rose Benavides. As I grew up, I stopped speaking like a child. I stopped acting like a child. I put away childish things when he became a man. Tonight, I encourage you, if there's anything you hold on to in your childhood, hold on to the faith of a child. But at the same time, be aware, you're no longer just a little girl. You are a young woman, and you are called to be responsible. You are called to know that you are seen as an adult and carry yourself as so. Don't be afraid to have fun. Don't be afraid to smile. Enjoy life, but do so responsibly. And we will know that there are great things ahead of you as you continue forward and say bye-bye to being a little girl and hello to being a young woman. We have shoes, and those shoes are being presented by her dad, Ezekiel Benavides. beginning a journey, saying bye-bye to one chapter and hello to another. Know that as you go forward, as you walk the path that God has for you, He is with you. He says, I know the plans I have for you, good plans for you to prosper and to have a good future. Know that He's with you, 
and everything he desires for you is good. So don't be afraid to walk the narrow road. Walk it with faith, as the Bible says, we walk by faith. Walk it with love and hope, knowing that the God of love is with you. Don't be afraid of any challenge. Don't be afraid of any obstacle. But with God by your side, we claim tonight that all things are possible in the name of Jesus. Finally, the ring. And the ring will be presented once again by her dad, Ezekiel Benavides. Michelle, a ring is an eternal commitment. It's a circle. It has no beginning. It has no end. It continues forever. It represents a few things. One tonight is God's infinite love for you. Know that you're never without somebody who loves you. God is love, and His love is eternal. His love is always upon you. You can never go anywhere or do anything where His love will stop. It's an infinite love that will never end. It's also your declaration of to, to your commitment to purity, to holiness, to do as God's asked you to do because you've committed your life to Him. You've made an eternal commitment, Jesus in your heart, you as a young woman of God. Be confident and know that He's with you throughout this entire journey for all of eternity. He says, when you said yes to Him, He welcomed you with open arms to His kingdom. So, I remind you, it's an eternal commitment. Not, don't take a day off, you can't take a week off. Every moment, every minute, you are committed to God. And do so for your entire life. Can we give Michelle and the Venus a call? And I'm sorry. I had a record of you. You didn't see it coming, right? There is a bracelet. Can I have a bracelet, please? It is being presented by Irma and Frank Villafuerte. Can we give them a big hand, please? It's another circle with no beginning, no end. It runs for eternity. And I want you to know tonight that it is God's eternal commitment to be with you every day of your life. He said, I will be with you always, even until the end of the earth. So he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll always stand by you. He's made a promise and he does not break promises. The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. So when he said, I am with you, he, he means he is with you always and forever. So be aware that the eternal God is always with you for all of eternity. And when this life is over, you'll continue to be with him in heaven forevermore. So be confident and know that we serve an everlasting God who is with us to the very end. Can we say one more prayer for Michelle? And I would call her parents forward, please, to come and stand by her. Can you stand, Michelle, please? Thank you. Michelle, we pray for you tonight and know that you are loved by many. And I am able to see very well tonight. Many people are praying for you. So tonight we offer a prayer and celebration of your life and a blessing upon you. As your parents lay hands on her, Father, we bless Michelle. We thank you that she is truly your princess. We thank you, Father, that her life is ordained by you, set apart by you. Father, we call her blessed. We call her the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. We thank you, Father God. May you bless her and keep her. May you, call, may you cause your face to shine upon her. I thank you that the glory of God is seen in her. I thank you, Father, that she will finish, finish the race with faith, with joy, with peace. We claim right now that she is blessed every day of her life. Her future is blessed. We thank you, Father, that she is never alone. But even as she looks at these gifts that are being presented to her, that for the rest of her life she will know that she is loved by many, but more so loved by you. I thank you, Father, 
that this life you've blessed us with is only beginning. And you will see it completed. Every task, every instruction, every gift we claim will come alive. We bless her. We call her family blessed. And we thank you, Lord, that you are with her all the days of her life. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Michelle, Celine.